welcome to our video on how to upload your own data, where you will learn how to upload a file, create a data module, and replace a file. We are going to upload this file of sales data. You can see that the data is in rows and columns, with no text above the headers at the top, and no totals or footnotes at the bottom. To upload a file, click the Open Menu icon and select Upload Files. Navigate to the file on your hard drive, select it, and click Open. There's a progress bar. And a status update. Once it is uploaded, we can find the file in My Content What types of files are supported? Microsoft Excel, XLS, and XLSX with single or multiple sheets. Delimited text files containing either comma, tab, semicolon, or pipe separated values. And you can even upload zip files containing multiple Excel files, multiple delimited files, or any combination of both. Filters within a Microsoft Excel file are ignored and Excel file formats prior to 2003 are not supported. What structure should the file have? Data being imported must be in simple columnar form. Pivot tables or cross tabs are not supported. Comments before the first header row in a data file are interpreted as column headers. If you have text that describes the worksheet, for example, a title, a description, the date, before the first row, the text will be incorrectly read as a column header. Similarly, do not place any text at the end of the file. And finally, totals and subtotals in your data are treated as part of the data set. Totals can be mistaken as unsummarized data and give misleading results. It is preferred to remove totals and subtotals from your data. Back in the product, we can create dashboards directly from this file, or we can make a data module. A data module allows us to rename columns, add calculations, join multiple tables, create filters, and many other additional tasks. To create a new data module based on our uploaded file, click the More icon and select Create Data Module. If we click on a column, we can preview the data. If we click the More icon beside a column and select Properties, we can see a new panel of information. Here, for example, we can change the name of a column. When we are finished with the data module, we can save it. Suppose sometime in the future we add new data to our sales.xlsx file, such as data for a new month or two. We can replace the original file with our new data by clicking Open Menu, Content, My Content, click the More icon beside the uploaded file, and select Replace File. Navigate to the new file with the new extra data in it and click Open. If we simply add new rows of data to the original file, such as adding a new month or quarter of sales data, the replace will work perfectly. Here is a table that shows a set of common revisions and the result if you replace the original file. For example, adding a new column is okay, but removing an existing column will cause an error. 
In this video, we demonstrated the Replace feature. This option replaces all rows of data in your uploaded file with rows of data from the file that you select. There is also an Append feature that appends new rows of data to your uploaded file, keeping the existing data intact. Note, the column names and data types must be identical in both the original file and the new file in order for the operation to be successful. Congratulations, you have learned how to upload your own data. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.